guys welcome back to bc reviews this is review number 142 on the tour reviews portion of the of the channel uh today we're doing a sideshow collectibles premium format this is actually one of the exclusive versions uh versions is limited 77 number 77 of only 1000 manufactured uh we have leatherface from texas chainsaw massacre so of course the shipper you know take a little bit of beating coming around here but it's here so let's get past the boring part let's get to the artwork box take a look at that and then, of course, we'll get straight to the premium format statue. So I'm hoping this is actually going to come out pretty well. Um, I like the, they just released a Freddy Krueger, which I did a video on, I think, last week, maybe two weeks ago. Um, and it was actually really impressive. So let's go ahead and take a look at Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, guys, just cracked this out of the box. Here's the artwork box. Uh which is pretty much close to a portrait from the show. If this is actual statue, they nailed it. Um, you see there the skin mask, chainsaw, uh, of course, Leatherface uh, outfit with the apron. Uh, pretty much, you know, the blood splatter on the bottom. There's the Sideshow exclusive sticker. Take a look at the side, just more blood splatter. And on the back, more of a far out shot there. And the Sideshow emblem. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the bottom right here. Excuse the camera angle. And yes, it is hand numbered 77 of 1000. So guys, let's go ahead and get straight to it. Let's take a look at Leatherface premium format figure. Uh, this was released in 18, I believe, early 18. It could have been late, uh, maybe December of 17. But it's a rather new figure, so let's take a look at it. Okay, guys, here's a quick look at all the uh, different parts that come with this statue. It's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, just by looking, there's the base, which we'll go over. Of course, the body right there. There's the, uh, I believe that's the left arm with the chainsaw attached. And then uh, I'm not sure how this other connector actually might still be an arm in there. I'm not sure in the box. I need to check better. Uh, these other attachments right here, I'm not sure what they go to. Leatherface head. And then, of course, a hammer right there and the bloody apron, which they did a really good job on the bloody apron. So there's all the parts. I'm going to go ahead, boys. I'm going to put this, boys and girls, I'm going to put this all together. And we're going to take a final look at it. Oh, but first, let's take a look at this base here. I haven't looked at it at all. Oh, man, that's cool. Check that out. There he is, Leatherface, engraved into there. I'm just going to turn it around. There's Leatherface getting some, taking a life right there. There's, oh, there's the infamous house right there. Oh, that is great. And the screaming woman. Oh, guys, they did fantastic on the details on this base. Just look at this with the glasses. See how the glasses are a little bit up right there? There he is with the hammer. Creepy. This is a great horror piece, though. Definitely great. I mean, there it is. That's, that's just unbelievable. Let's take a quick look at the bottom. And as you see, Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, premium format number 77 of the exclusive version, uh, 1,000 manufactured. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put all this fun stuff together, take one final look at the product. We'll give it an overall uh, rating, what we see, what we think about it. So I'll be right back. No time for you guys. And let's take a look at this statue put together in full form. Okay, boys and girls, this came out pretty freaking awesome. I can't lie. Uh, this is way above my expectations. Let's take a close look at the face right there. I mean, that's great craftsmanship. The sculpt is just amazing. The mouth just looks freaking ugly. Looks jacked up, right? Freaking scary, bro. All right, so there's leather face. Let's go over the chainsaw right quick. Just excuse the background stuff here. Um, but the chainsaw is great. It actually comes with these uh, separate attachments uh, that goes from there into his hand. So basically the arm won't come off because the magnetic connection isn't the strongest. And then uh, it also has one right here that actually goes straight into the top of his hand. So it goes into both sides. Um, so it does hold it securely if you're wondering. As you see there, there's blood on the chainsaw. Same color as in the movie. Pretty accurate. I mean, movie accurate to the T. Uh, and actually, I think the exclusive, I'm pretty sure the exclusive, I could be wrong, so don't hate, you know, if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure the exclusive is this hammer, where you can put this hammer in his hand or something like that. But I just tuck it in his pocket. If he needs it, it's there. You know what I mean? 
So, I'm going to step back a little bit. Um, on the base, uh, those attachments, those wood attachments, that's this right here. Um, looks like some kind of, uh, I can't remember exactly what, he, what those were for, but some kind of ritual thing. Piece of driftwood. There's the back of that one, which I'll take a shot of the back uh, before the video is over, as I'm going to put it in a case and display it and then show you guys. Um, but overall, really good. Um, I love how, like, you gotta, what you got to do on this, though, is you got to have to move the apron because the way he poses right there, that's the natural pose, right? You have to move the apron to his left a little bit, to the left side of his body, um, and expose the suit, you know, the the church pants and the white collared shirt and all that a little bit, and then on the front, it just gets friggin' dirty, guys. See that? That's just dirty. So overall, I mean, on this statue, I wasn't expecting what I received. So overall, I'm definitely going to give it a 9, 9.5 out of 10. Uh, terrific statue. So... Let me go ahead and uh, move this box out of the back. We'll go over the whole statue, the back of it and the front, sides, up and down. And then we'll put it in the, in the case and give it one last review, guys. Keep this video under 9, 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and move it over there and take a better shot of it. Let's get this, actually, let's get this box out of the way and take a look at the back part of it. Okay, so the box is gone. Okay, guys. So if we move it around and take a look, I mean, that's a terrific freaking statue, guys. Look at this. I'm trying to get far enough away because this is a premium format, standing uh, at least 24 inches, I would say. At least 2 feet in height. Maybe 21, at, no, it's at least, I would say, 22 to 24. Um, but terrific statue. I mean, the base just kind of pops, too. Look at the base. And I know, don't be jealous of my 1980s turntable. With the old brass beads in it, but it is what it is. But just terrific statue, guys. Can't say enough about it. Um, I'm not too much into the horror stuff. You know, as you see, I have uh, Freddy, which I did not too long ago. I have the Jason. It's been done on the channel. And now I'm adding Leatherface to it, um, which I'm looking forward to adding a uh, Hell's Priestess. Uh, that'll be coming in before too long. If I haven't already received it, I might have known me. Um, but all right, guys, that's going to do it for review number 140. I'll tell you what, no, let's put it in the case, take one last look at it, and then we'll close the video out for review number 142 on Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, guys, so obviously, due to the size of the chainsaw, this does not fit into a case. Uh, my height of the case is 25 inches, so yeah, I was pretty accurate. I'm going to say it's about 27 to 28 inches in height. Uh, just a terrific, solid statue from Sideshow Collectibles. So overall, if you like it, guys, it's available over at Sideshow Toy. Uh, you can do it on flex payments. Just pay a certain amount a month till it's paid off. They don't charge you any interest for it. It's a really great statue. It'd make it great for any, you know, really even in an entertainment center or anything. You know, if your wife lets you, really, your girlfriend. So there it is. Let's take one last look up and down. Then we'll close the video out for review number 142. On the toy section of the video of this of the channel. So there it is, guys. Review number 142, Leatherface, Sideshow Collectibles, premium format statue. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure if you haven't already, hit that sub button, leave a like. I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, peace.